Let's talk about head. <laughs> Owl heads, that is. All right, I jumped ahead a little. Just want to show you the start of the eyes, which is the foundation for the head. I'm gonna run on out to Walmart. Get yourself some soup spoons. That's what these are. You're gonna cut your handles off, and then what I do is I kind of round these off, give them a flat spot, and then you weld those together. You can use any size washer you want, but basically this becomes the eye. I happen to have these because I use them for the bottom of my little shroom clusters. So that's what I go with. All right, so I just marked the center of those. And then we're gonna drill them out. All right, so I use quarter 20 uh, nuts and bolts because that's what I have on hand. I use them for my dragonflies. You can use any size you want. It's all up to you, Skala Zoop. All right, so we put those in. Now we're gonna tack all those nuts to the back of the spoons here. So for the next step, you want to cut that rod down and you're going to attach it to the back here. But, you know, it, it, it's important on where you place this, right? So we'll some guidelines. So when you weld this piece on, try to keep that piece centered to the center of the eyes, right? It'll help you when you line it up onto the body. And another important one too is you don't want the head tilted too far back, right? So somewhat straight a little bit forward this is where the beak will come out okay and then just try to have it as even as you can on these sides you have a little bit of play with it but try to get them pretty close all right so here we are with the two of them with their eyes in now we're going to move on to their beaks all right so there's one beak this one i was able to just use a, a big nail end that i had on the other one we have a bigger gap so we're going to use a bolt that will grind down all right, so the other beak's in. For this one, I wanted to go a little flatter. And as you can see, this one's a little pointier. I don't know if you can tell. See? Different looking schnozzes. Oh, mouths, you know. Stop, take a big uh, servant fork. You wanna cut out two pieces. So we have two owls. If you don't have one of these, just use a spoon handle and shape it. Just, just add a point to it. Put a couple bends on it. What you want to do is have this piece sit right there and becomes like part of the beak. Whoops. <laughs> and then it hides this seam right here where the two spoons work together. Full disclosure. These are for me, these are the worst pieces to put on. Um, but I got them done on one. I'll give you some more detail on it. Get a magnet. All right, you want to place the magnet down inside to hold the spoon in position so you can tack weld it, pull the magnet out, and then finish welding it in. All right, so that's why we want the thicker spoon. So it takes a bit of heat to get those two to you know the thin ones, you just blow right through. So you can see there they have a slight taper as they go back. All right, I'm gonna do this on the other one, and then we're gonna actually put the brow in next, and then we'll finish filling in the head. This is the brow on one let me show you <laughs> let me show you how to do it it's been a long day all right i'm getting a little tired so i'm going to use the handles from those soup spoons that we use to make the eye socket for the brow so the brow is up to you your preference i like to do the top one a little longer than the bottom and i prefer to use two on each side right, so what i do is tack it on the far end it'll be cut off later and then I put the other two on top, right? So I just vice grip it and then lay that one on top and then tack all that. So I'm gonna separate these now. They stay together, yay. All right, so what I do is I take one and now depending on the pitch, right? Sad owl, angry owl. We're gonna go just about halfway between. I just take a marker and I kind of eye the line right there. So we're gonna cut that. All right, so I cut that line, I flipped them onto each other, welded them together, and then we can put it onto the owl. The brow in, we continue on filling in the head. Teaspoons, just bend the end, use a magnet, and tack that into place there. And to fill in this gap right here, we're gonna put a Demita spoon in backwards. Let me show you. That just cleans up that seam, so we're gonna tack that in right there. 
starting to add more tablespoons to fill in the head. So one here, now jump to this side and do this one. Because typically these two that meet, we got to split them down the middle. So they kind of wedge together like that. I'll show you once I get those done. You see how I split them there? Now we want to add two handles this way to block those welds. Now we'll put in the brow. Here's the other owl that I've already put the brow on. If you have a sterling silver spoon or fork handle that you like, use those. It's just way easier to bend. If not, use a steel one, heat it. Just takes a little bit more time, okay? All right, here's the piece bent. So you slip that on there. Then you want to push it in until it clicks into that slot. All right, and then for their claws, if you have little forks, use those, but I won't go over that in too much detail now. That'll be when I make the display stands for these. All right, here they are. I'm almost out of time on my video, so we'll finish out with this. Here's the back. One of the things I like most about this design is there's no visible welds. Everything's hidden, especially with that last piece getting clicked in. Cool. So hopefully all of my babbling made sense to some people. And if anyone decides to make one, please tag me in it and use the hashtag keep creating stuff because creating stuff is cool. Have a great day. Bye.